All right, let's get into all the IGF-1 scams I see on Instagram now. There are many supplement companies selling bullshit products to increase IGF-1 and exaggerating the benefits of increased IGF-1. So let's get into this and I'll discuss that further. Next few weeks, check this out. There is a legal version of IGF-1 called 191A. First of all, you can get IGF-1 LR3, which is an injectable form at Peptide Sciences without a prescription. So IGF-1 LR3, it's not technically legal, but it's not illegal either, because you can buy it in a gray area of purpose. The way SARMs are not legal or illegal, peptides are in a similar category. Point is, you can get real IGF-1 if you want it. That is turning ordinary men into ripped muscular. Anytime, in, anytime a company uses folks that are either genetically gifted and on anabolics, you know they're full of shit. This guy doesn't look like this from taking this bullshit product. Thank God. If you haven't heard, IGF-1 is an all-natural growth hormone that causes explosive muscle growth and lightning fast recovery. So if you're sick of screwing around... Total exaggeration. I've used IGF-1 LR3. I definitely didn't get a big increase in muscle mass, although I don't train for that. I train for strength. I don't care about being big and weak. I'd rather look, I'd rather be several times stronger than I look and be formidable. Now that point aside, ugh, I forgot my train of thought. Rumi, what was I getting about to say? All right, it'll come back to me. I wanna make real gains. Tap the link with this video to get some, but hurry, this might get taken down soon. If you want to- Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna get taken down, sure, sure, because it's so effective, it's gonna become illegal now. All right, so let's look at the company. Let's see what this is. Now, I already know what this is before even looking at it. But here they go through all this bullshit information about IGF-1. Yes, IGF-1 can be potent, but nothing over the counter is going to be in the ballpark of actually replacing it, taking actual IGF-1 injections. And like I said, I didn't notice an increase in strength from taking it. And I definitely didn't notice a big increase in muscle mass, although I probably wasn't eating enough to facilitate those things. But given how potent IGF-1 allegedly is, I still should have noticed some profound benefits because I ran it for four to six weeks and I did not. That's just me though, it may work well for you. Okay, so this product is basically Deer Velvet Antler, which has been around for a long time. Deer Velvet Antler actually contains actual IGF-1 and it will increase your IGF-1 levels. Probably get 50 points, maybe even up to 100 points. But here's the thing, does that translate into big increases in size and strength? And in my opinion, the answer is an emphatic no. Yeah, your IGF-1 levels went way up, so what? Nothing happened. I've seen people with high IGF-1 levels who don't even work out. You would never guess that they have IGF-1 levels looking at them. So it's not as simple as we just improve one hormone and everything comes together. Okay, now this product is garbage. Now, if you actually want something that actually increases growth hormone, not just IGF-1, because when you increase, you don't want to just increase IGF-1 because that can also increase cancer likelihood. What you want to do is increase all of the IGF binding proteins. This is something Dr. Gordon has talked about on my show before. Now, here's what his product does. Dr. Gordon has the best growth hormone releasing supplement on the market by far, Dynotropin, designed by him. Now, this will increase your own production of growth hormone, and it will increase subsequently IGF-1, which is not a metabolite of growth hormone, but it's, but it's affected by growth hormone. So when your growth hormone goes up, IGF-1 goes up. Now, what you want is all of the binding proteins going up too, because the binding, the IGF binding proteins actually have cancer protective effects. So you don't want to just increase IGF-1 is where I'm going. You need to increase all of the IGF binding proteins because that way you get all of the benefits of IGF-1 without the negatives. So this is a great product. It's expensive. It's 115 bucks, two sprays before bedtime. Some people may need four. I'm not sure how long one bottle lasts. I believe over a month, but it actually works. So if you want to buy something to increase growth hormone that it works, this is it. 